Yeah. Time for Norfair! There's an area of lava where we haven't gotten everything. The last two power-ups are in that lava room. So let's make our move. Just go down towards the bottom. Not this way. This is a dead end. Yep, you gotta go down the long way. You gotta go down as if you were trying to go for the wave beam. Fuck you. So, go through this game. Go through as if you're playing it for the first time. So don't make it actually feel like that. That'd be painful for everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's like, except you actually have all your power-ups. Make it like Super Metroid. You can turn off everything. Oh, God. Yeah, no. I don't know why that's a feature to begin with. I mean... I understand it for the beams, because you can't have all the beams active at once, because... You can, but it's a glitch, and it will fucking crash yeah, the game. Yeah, like I said, it'll crash the game if you do that. <laughs> so if you could, that crashes the game, so... I like it when Ridley's tail blows him up. It's beautiful! What did you do? You cannot make it really tight this way! Ah! I just did. Like, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, it's wait, what you, you deserve. You it's what you deserve. And Mother Brain space just breaks. <laughs> First, fuck you. Did not probably. Oh yeah, lava well, doesn't hurt you now. That's the biggest reason why you need to come back here with gravity suit. Yep. There are power-ups that you had to go through lava to go through. But now you have the gravity suit, you can finally go through it. I'll take you damage. Yep, and now we gotta make our way all the way to the bottom. Remember, screw attack with you down faster. There are the walls or whatever to get you through. Always good to remember. What I'm trying to do is... Huh. Yeah, I gotta remember that whole, uh... The trial thing. I gotta remember a lot of the news that came up between, like, so Microsoft and Sony. So it's this way, or do I have to go a little bit all the way to the bottom, right? Um, I think you could technically go that way. Yeah, I think you just keep going forward through there. You'll eventually make your way lower. I know what room it is, because there's a room that has, like, a lot of lava you can sink deep into. Eh, it is somewhere towards the bottom. Yeah, go with that refill. I was trying to remember. I was like, isn't there an ammo recharge station somewhere? There's plenty nearby, it's just... It's those things. I keep forgetting. I'm thinking Fusion for some reason. I haven't played Fusion since the last game on Switch Online! Huh, that actually wasn't that long ago. That explains a lot, actually. Yep, I went through a full 100% speedrun playthrough, and then I went for... I started a friggin' 1% run in that again! What's and then I stopped when I got to, uh... Nightmare? No, I didn't even get that far. <laughs> I think I got to, uh... The boss to give you the speed booster. Oh, series? Yeah, that one was always a pain in the ass. That is that one of my least favorite early game bosses in that game. Oh, God. Yeah, I think you basically want to keep going straight down from here or all the way at the end? One of the two. It's at the end. Yeah, I guess so. So, my extension. Fake lava. I don't know how that works, but. Here. Go. Yep. There's a way further down. For the missile! Awesome. A waste of power bombs to see. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for that. And again, that's what multiple playthroughs are for these games. But yeah, there has been a lot of crazy news to be unveiled from the frickin' um, uh, Activision FTC investigation to frickin' Microsoft's buy buying of frickin' Activision Blizzard. Yeah. We learned about other buyouts Microsoft was looking at. And apparently, like, in the really early days, Phil Spencer was head of Xbox. Apparently one of the executives mentioned the phrase of basically buying Sony out. Hmm. I think they're a little better now than they were then, but even still, that does raise a red flag. Yeah. And yeah, everybody's trying to make... You said there's two of them? Yep, there's a wall to go through. We need missiles for it in there. I think it's somewhat low in the room where that missile wall is. You have plenty of power bombs, so you can use that to explore, but yeah, it's right there. I think you need a couple. Yep. Nope, you gotta keep jumping and firing. Dicks. Dicks! I hate this! There we go. Yep, this one in here would have been a lot harder to figure out, but yep. At the top of this room is your power bomb expansion. So there you go, free power bombs. And with that, Norfair is done. You don't ever have to come back here again. Yeah, I remember a lot of the aggression that freaking uh, Sony had is that they were upset, basically saying that the Ridley's done. Microsoft would monopolize the market. I know where to go for the next thing. We gotta go back to uh, Crade's Lair. Yep. Because there's a power up we didn't get there. Maybe two. 
I mean, yes, power bombs, right? Um, no, you needed the gravity suit for it. Oh yeah, lava. Although we do need a power bomb to get there. And I'll just say, you may be a little surprised. We can actually get there from this room. This room in particular? Go back up to the top. And remember, you need missiles to get out of that one tunnel up there. This one? Missiles of the wall over there. Yep. I'll say, go to the top left corner of this room. Like, oh wait, is it this room? Maybe it's a higher up room. Oh, it's all the way to the edge. It's all the way to the edge. Here or? Actually, yeah, it is this room. Okay, yep. Stay on that platform and fire a missile forward. Look at that! A tunnel! This is one of the great tunnels beforehand, except me a power bomb way through this. Yeah. A nice interconnected tunnel between Norfair and Craig's Lair. Gets you right to the save room here, which you never actually went into. And you need the screw attack to be able to discover that tunnel on this side anyway. Imagine getting locked in here, it's like, hey, look, they found a secret passage. Nope. Dude, I'm basically telling you speedrunner strats. Ah, yeah. oh, there are two we missed. Okay, so there's one we could have gotten but didn't get. Hmm. But since we had to come back for one anyway. Oh no! Ah, oh, I can't come back from the button. Basically get back to the central hub. I think it's from there. There's another power we missed. I did feel like there was another room we probably didn't go into. I think I have a feeling where it might be. God damn it. Yeah, this is where the screw attack comes annoying. You accidentally destroy platforms that you didn't want to destroy. So just do just stand still and jump. There you go. Yeah, it's cute. Get away from me. But yeah, I remember the Sony president, Jim Ryan, was like complaining about like how Microsoft monopolized the market if they got Activision Blizzard mainly because of Call of Duty. You know, evidence has shown that it would actually still have Sony having the majority of developers under their banner. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's a, whatchamacallit, it's a corporate battle is what it means. Yeah. So it's not like... And then basically, like, in court, basically, Jim Ryan confessed that he knew that wasn't actually going to be a case, but, yeah. you know. Like it's I said, like, they're both making themselves look bad. It's it just shows how shitty some of these gaming... It's like, it's like corporate, it's the corporate focus as opposed to, you know. Yep. So it's just like, it's a corporate battle. And the UK's like, looking at it from a cloud, cloud game perspective, where the US is looking at it from a Call of Duty and market dominance perspective. Which the FTC has been... Also sounds like what FTC is trying to prove to try to fight against this acquisition is also not being proven! <laughs> so everybody's like, trying to just... Like, everybody's like, all we're doing is learning that both these companies are shitty. We've done nothing to prove that Microsoft shouldn't be allowed to let this go through, however. Yeah. Oh, it's this room! This is the room we missed one! Thanks. This one's annoying! So, I wonder if you're gonna figure out how to do this one. I'll give you a hint. It involves more ball bomb jumping. And then letting go at just the right time. Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, we have spring ball now. Yeah. That makes it so much easier. That's right, you don't know that spring ball before you come here. Oh, yeah. Because you don't have the freaking. Uh, I forgot. I used the bomb jump anyway. So you don't have high jump when you get here, that's yeah. right. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot I even had that. Alright. Now notice the room that has like an empty chasm in the bottom of it. Yep. On the map. Uh, that's where you want to go. We have another weird shine spark puzzle in there. Go all the way to the, the other end of the room. Ah, yeah, this one. This is where we fought that. Nope. Down here. This one's kind of a dick, though. You basically get Shine Spark. And then you gotta activate the Morph Ball version. Yeah. You basically want to run from the tunnel. Yeah, see? Because you can't do it like that, because you jump when you do that. What you want to do is activate Shine Spark going from right to left. Shoot the wall as you go. Crouch before you hit the end. You have to just gotta remember to shoot the wall and get your way, then crouch before you hit the wall. And then Shine Spark on the ramp because it continues your roll. Gotta love these advanced maneuvers. That's a pretty clever one, though, I'll admit. Yeah. Like, sometimes you can hate these poles, but other times you're like, oh, wow, yeah, that's actually pretty smart. 
There it goes, everything in Cray's lair. Now we can leave, leave the normal way. So, but we got everything in Norfair. We got everything in Ridley's lair. We're going to be getting a Torian. And we'll, we'll come, come back, back to Zodia. Criteria will be... We're Criteria going with, is done. Brinstorm, we got to get one more thing in. We're going back there anyway. That's kind of what we're going back for. That's kind of what's leading us to uh, Torian, I think. Yep, that's our next destination, right? Yep. Just leave Crate's play, play lair the normal entrance, and you're there. See, like I said... I know the speedrunner strats, because I had to go over those speedruns. It really helps with... They designed the game with if knowing the ideal route if these speedruns done right. Yeah, this game is very well made. Like, this is a Metroid game for... Like, this is a very... This game is, like, made with, as a Metroid game in mind. Very much so. Mm-hmm. But you haven't even done that much speedrunning in this. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. <clears throat> Actually, I'm trying to remember it. Actually, the power might not be here. I think this is the way to Torian, though. I think. We need the power bomb to reveal a slot. If you take that, whee! You get to that part of Criteria. That will take you back to Torian. But we gotta explore Brinstar first. There's a power up we missed. I think I might have an idea where it is. You know, towards where we got the uh, the very suit. Up there? It might be in the cor a bit in the corridor after the save station. I kind of forgot about it because I was so focused on what's going to the various suit. It's like in the lava like just after the save station, I think. Well, we could refuel, but eh, we have we'll most of our fuel the anyway. We're good. We're going to come back anyway, so... Just go all the way up there. But yeah, you know, at this point, I'd rather just let it go. Just let Microsoft have Activision, whatever. They already promised 10 year deals with everybody else to have freaking Call of Duty being on all the other platforms. They even have some of their games coming on G4, so now their stuff is available on more freaking cloud gaming services. At this point, it's just like a whatever. Yeah, just let it happen already. But it's an American company anyway. Like, fucking. Then again, Sony technically is basically becoming an American company. Yeah. Their headquarters have moved here. And all the gaming companies are based in fucking Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo, Sony. I want to say Microsoft wanted to be based there. Hey. Wouldn't surprise me. They're either there or California, but I want to say they're also in Washington. It's really weird how much, like, the state of Washington feels like an area of nothing. And then there's like a bunch of tech companies, like, at the corner towards the ocean. Like, what yeah, the shit? Yeah, because usually when I think of the tech companies, I usually think of California. But then again, not, it's a, a lot, lot of gaming than companies are based around Washington, probably because it's close to Japan, if I had to guess. Makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Yeah. Let me guess, I went the wrong way. That no, keep going, cause... just keep going forward. Just keep moving forward. It's in the lava in the room after the save station. Like I said, I didn't think about it because we were so focused on getting the uh, space jump. Oh wait, speaking of which. There is nothing else up in that room. There's nothing down there either, I don't think. Yes, I can. Yeah, say so there was a different area like that, in the lower cavern like that. Yeah, I want to say it's in here somewhere. Actually, this makes sense because... Oh, god damn it! Well, that makes me feel stupid. Now we can go back. <laughs> yeah, that's just a way to continue to go back forward to loop back around if you wanted to take that way. It's not needed. They kind of for... Oh, wait, yeah, we're forced to go this way now. That's right. Oh yeah, they wanted you to do that after you got the various suit to reveal to then go back to where you previously were you got the high jump to then go for the freaking wave beam. We avoided that segment by taking in the various suit. But we also avoided a power up by not even by extension. Yeah, we, well because we went there early in the game, we wouldn't we wouldn't have been trapped. We wouldn't have been fine. That's true. I forgot about that. And again, I'm gonna say I saw that entire My more recent section. ones have been low percent, okay? <laughs> it yeah. was off my mind. That's why I was looking at Mike. That giant section up there feels like it would have a power. Mm -hmm. up. Yep, yep. I kind of thought it was like one of the. I knew it was like close to where the barrier suit was. See, for the speedrunners, they wanted to get a barrier suit early, so you get that missile expansion, not be trapped and being forced to go pat, come back and loop around. Again, they designed a lot of flexibility in mind. They yeah. designed very well for a casual playthrough, but for speedrunners, basically learning a lot of the fast routes, it's like, wow. <laughs> wow. 
Hello. Now back to the beginning of the game. Now we can go back to Torian. Then we get the power ups. We go get the wait, power ups. Wait, I went the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> Damn it, wrong tunnel. Actually, no, wait, this is right. No, you're, no, no, go, go back up, go back up. Yep. Go back to where we were originally going to go before I told you to go back to go get that power up. God damn, it's so hard to remember these maps! Well, it is Metroid's one, yeah. Metroid 1's map, in all fairness. It's better than the original Metroid 1, but it still has a massive vertical ascent. Yep. <laughs> it is still kind of annoying. Okay, let's put it this way. At least it doesn't all look samey. Oh, God, yeah. Well, that was a lot of NES games in a nutshell. Yeah. Like, I noticed that with, like... I noticed that a lot with Mega Man 1. Like, you notice, like, some areas of level look like they have, like... Preset like segments of level, they just like chunked them in, and it's just like, yeah. Welcome to the NES. I mean, yeah, I guess it's one of their ways of saving storage space. They needed it. Then again, going to the original Zelda 1, the way they they like kind of had all the dungeons in the game stored in their own separate map away, away from the overworld, they had like all the rooms stored on there in such a way that it like fit absolutely perfectly in the space of the cartridge. It's like, god damn. Yep. Let's go forward. You're now on the other side of that rock. Don't forget, we go back to Torian from this side. Besides, both the powers are at the end of Torian anyway. There's no need to come in from the beginning. Yep. At least you don't have to deal with Metroids if you did it that way. Oh, man, you have to deal with the Metroids again. Mother Queen's dead! Well, yeah. This explains how... Dead. <laughs> yeah, this also explains how we ended up where we did in Brinstar at the beginning of the game. Uh-huh. They actually give it relevance in regards to the map. Like, I also love it. It feels like you can, like, tell from the world crafting where everything is. It's actually something that Dread does surprisingly well. Yeah, Dread does that pretty like, well. Like, there's a channel I like, was looking at when I first got into it called Luigi Brothers. Like, L-O-O-Y-I-G-I. -I. The videos that made them popular, where their videos go over, like, a lot of, like, delicate details in Metroid Dread. Hmm. It's, like, really surprising. A lot of the little details, like, let you know where, like... Things happen in the map, and how you notice is like plot progresses. Some things in the background change. You're like, oh shit! And like some very slight details, animation, like, like after Samus gets a certain power up, she like has a different animation when she closes in on a, on like a gap she can't crawl into. It's like Jesus Christ! Even the smallest things is like really impressive how much they thought about it. You know that would have been funny if we could actually get the power bomb early. <laughs> It's like, oh, I was going to spend some time, but hey, look, a power, hey, look, a power ball. <laughs> Get to the show Zonia before you get to the end of the game. How the fuck do you fight us? What the fuck? <laughs> and I can actually fight you. Oh, oh God. On. Okay, you do remember this one. Oh, you think that's how you go through this? It's a lot more complicated than that, isn't it? Yeah. Here's my second least favorite power up in the game. Right. Now I remember. You have to do a speed boost run and continuously jump through this room the right way so you don't get cut off. This one fucking sucks. And I get to die slowly because this isn't lava. Yep. This is acid. You have to worry about precision and speed. It's a match made in hell. <laughs> yep. There is no good shine spark spot for you to blast through everything. Eh, there could be. I guess doing it from high up, but it'll require one of those weird jump and shoot shine sp speed boost moves. Yep, and that, this last part right here is going to be the reason why. Yep, you gotta do it from high up. Yeah, I think they make it so you have to do it that way, because there's no way to do a shine spark where you avoid everything. Yep. Yeah, this is my least favorite. You need to, need to go through that room, transition to the next room, and blast into the wall on the other side. Fucking brutal. Like, oh. This one definitely took me quite a few tries. This... Oh! Dick. Yup. This has almost single-handedly ruined quite a few of my speedruns. Oh, and by the way, the acid here still hurts you. Just heads up. Yep. It's the only thing you're not immune to now, environment-wise. There's a save station here. There's a tip if you want to actually help your save your, like, speedrun times. Use that save station before you fucking do this. I say this like I'm actually caring about the speed run. Oh, and a little tip. If you hold A, B, start, and select, you can actually do a soft reset of the game. It actually save you some frames and time. <laughs> Just go back to the main menu of the game and then freaking... A, B, start, and select? Yep. Oh, do that, you neat. soft reset. 
Yeah, that's a thing that he had since the original Game Boy. You can do that. Great, three hours. <laughs> you can save yourself time and frames. Beautiful. <laughs> like, honestly, sometimes it's faster to do that than have to crawl all the way back to the save station. It really is. It's kind of sad. <laughs> that, again, that's more, that, though, that's more if you really care about your speedrun time. At this point, it probably doesn't matter yeah, because my speedrun's kind of... As long as you get the speedrun's under four hours of getting 100%, you're good. And we have 50 minutes to get, like, another six power-ups. You say that like yeah. <laughs> If this takes us over half an hour, then I'll be worried. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pain in the ass, though. This is a pain in the ass. This could potentially be your absolute least favorite. I, I cannot disagree with you. Although we did have that earl There you go! Then again, I think the least favorite. I think we still agree on the one. Yep. The fucking... It's in the upper right corner. Upper left corner, I mean. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. <laughs> to the oh. floor. <laughs> Save us both some time. I, ignoring my stupidity. 